all have a security camera focused in on them. Keeping your vote safe as ballot boxes open. Advanced voting starts tomorrow in Johnson County, but people are already dropping off those ballots. Kansas leaders are dealing with an influx of mail-in ballots. They've already sent out more than triple the number of ballots this year compared to the last presidential election in 2016. Check this out. So far, the state has mailed out more than 470,000 ballots compared to 148,000 in 2016. Also this year, voters have returned more than 3,300 ballots and nearly 7,000 people have already cast their ballots in person. The early voting surge forcing Johnson County to open its drop off ballot boxes one day early. This after dozens of people showed up today with their ballots only to find the boxes locked. Those boxes are now spread across Johnson County, but some voters they're worried about security once they drop their vote inside. That's right. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield shows us the steps leaders are taking to protect your ballot. Yep, I stacked them all over there. After sorting applications and preparing, the ballots have been sent. Now it's up to voters to fill them out and get their ballots back to the election office. In Johnson County, election officials are trying to make it easy by installing these drop boxes. And so we have teams that will be monitoring those drop boxes and bringing those voted ballots back. Johnson County is using grant money for the eight ballot drop boxes, which have been placed all throughout the county. The idea? Those don't have to travel to us through the mail. Instead, a bipartisan team, one Republican and one Democrat, will pick up the ballots throughout the day and bring them right to the election office in a sealed transfer bag. Until that happens, we wanted to know how secure your ballot is when they're in that box. It takes two different keys to open up the the box to actually retrieve the envelopes out. Security cameras are recording each box, which have been bolstered to the cement by the inside. The same safety precautions are in place in Wyandotte County for the two drop boxes located outside of the election office on State Avenue. Each one of those ballot boxes will hold almost 1,500 ballots. They were provided by the Secretary of State's office, but Commissioner Bruce Newby tells 41 Action News more are on the way. They will be checked first thing in the morning and checked again at close of business at the end of the day, and then we'll do it more often depending on the volume of mail that actually winds up being deposited. The locations of the other boxes are yet to be determined. Until then, both election offices are encouraging voters to fill out their ballots sign the envelopes and drop them off. Reporting in Wyandotte and Johnson counties, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.